Hi, I'm Paul McGillicuddy, and today Sal's show is taking a completely different direction from our usual format of musicians and, and all that. We're going to have a completely different show of, it's, it's very interesting, and today is featuring Samaya Morose. Hello. There we are. Hello, Hello Mariah. Everyone. So I will be very happy to bring I will try to bring every month something very new for you um, uh, so uh, and try to be a little bit creative and innovative and um, share with you different dance and uh, different aspects or talking or topic about uh, Middle Eastern dance and culture and North African dance and culture. Welcome Sumaya. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Mm. And this is a whole different thing for me. Um, I've been hosting many, you know, many shows um, on music, on lots of entertainment. And this is a, a new one on me. You're a dance artist, and I'd like to know more about that. So, I am a dance artist. Um, uh, I dance a uh, folkloric style of North Africans, mm -hmm. North African and Middle Eastern dance. Uh, so, uh, I'm more uh, speci specialized in Moroccan style. That's okay. my original country. I see. Uh, where so uh, if I have to explain a little bit more in detail. Uh, so I was born and raised in Belgium, but mm -hmm. my two parents come from Morocco. So uh, in Belgium we have a huge uh, Moroccan uh, population immigrants. Oh. And I am from the second generation. Of immigration. See. So I grew up in a neighborhood where there is uh, almost only Moroccan people and Turkish people. So my background cultural is uh, Moroccan. I see. I can explain the the immigration wave uh, in Belgium uh, for Moroccan people. Okay, if it you wish. It was in the 60s and 70s, around 60s, 70s, uh, uh -huh. 60s. And uh, so the thing is, it's a huge amount uh, of people. Mm -hmm. For example, for Brussels, uh, we are almost one million uh, on number of population, I and see. the Moroccan that we can say Moroccan people mm -hmm. are, um, are around three hundred thousand thousand, mm -hmm. like w the one that they are count. So uh, I grew up with uh, the citizen uh, Moroccan. And when I was 13, I turned uh, Belgium because my father asked the citizen. Mm -hmm. And this is how I become Belgian. I but uh, why I highlight that? Because it's very important to understand uh, the, the influence and the impact of uh, being a church immigrant child in, uh, in Belgium. I see. And uh, this is how I learned the dance. The yes. Moroccan dance and uh, the Middle Eastern dance, what we call Raq Sharqi in Morocco. I see. So the Raq Sharqi, Raq means dance, and uh, and Sharqi means east. So it's east dance because east. Maghreb, Morocco, means the 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 country where the sun set. Oh. So f everything that is is for us is called Raq Sharqi. But we most uh, when we call Raq Sharqi. It's most we uh, focus on the Egyptian okay. dance and uh, Middle Eastern. Yeah. And but we have also other kind of dance that are Algerian and Tunisian. Those are more like close to of uh, North African style, more Algerian style, but oh. still very different. I see. Yeah. There's various uh, uh, names for your style of dances. It's not just one name. Mm, no, because uh, so. Uh, internationally, the dance is known as belly dance. Yeah. But uh, belly dance, uh, it's a huge topic for me. It's not right to call it belly dance. Mm -hmm. uh, the dance is, uh, every country has its own dance. I see. But you have the oriental, which mm -hmm. is the most famous here, that uh, call it belly dance, mm -hmm. that we call it, there is a style, it's called cabaret style. It's I coming see. from Egypt. But uh, the one that we are, w is more no known. And uh, this is what I'm studying and what I focus on. And also I focus on the Oriental. This is one style in Egypt, but this style you can find it also in the other country like Lebanese and Turkey. Turkey. You can also find it in Morocco, mm -hmm. but it's just more a taboo. Oh. 
Tabor. Yes. There is many, many dances, so this is very difficult to say only one dance. You can't just say one category. Yes. No, right. Okay. Yes. It's a lot of different style and a lot of different dance and a lot of different country and different folklore. Only if we focus in one country like Morocco, there is many, many, many different dance. Sal show is your show. If you want to be next with your talent and Sal show like me today, you should contact him right here. A lot of um, ballet dancers that I've seen um, here in the studio, and, and um, what I've been on Sal show for years now, were from India or had the Indian culture. So that so India is a popular country for those style of dancers. Uh, India is like. For me, it's very. Uh, there is influence maybe with the time, like we can find some roots in Moroccan folklore. For example, if I focus in Morocco, where we can find some roots coming from India. But today, uh, no, it's different. Okay. You can see find similarity. I mean, in flavor or something. But it's n no, it's not the same. It's totally different than what no. I'm studying. Yes. And, uh, uh, the dancings that, that I've seen, um, whether it's ballet dancing or other uh, Middle Eastern dances, uh, they use a lot of um, what's that, props uh, like uh, fire, swords, and various things. Uh, yeah, do you use any any props in your dances? Where I come from and how I saw the dance, uh, authentically or in its original form, uh, there is props, yes, but it's, they are not necessarily used as uh, we can see it here. Or uh, like the sore is something that I, I could see uh, in the folklore, but it's not used in the same way. But my experience is different. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Because yeah, I uh, come from an experience that is more cultural. So how I saw the dance is in, in his roots. Hmm. Yeah. About the props, so uh, often I use uh, the, the veil. Uh, I can use the can because mm -hmm. uh, those things are uh, things that I have seen in the in my in originally. Mm -hmm. But uh, and then I can use uh, there is the zils. The zils is the little. Um, I yeah. use other props. I use uh, Moroccan. Uh, 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 we call it bandir. It's a Moroccan friend drum. Okay. I use that. A lot in my performance usually because I like it. It's that's more authentically to the roots okay. for me. I see. When yeah. I dance the Moroccan style. So you are a musician also. Then. Yes, I yes. used to play. That's also one part of my uh, experience. Well, back to Belgium is I used to play in Moroccan wedding uh, for since I'm 13. So yeah. I was no, I, I won't say my age, but I'm. Uh, okay I used me. to play like for many many years more than 15 years with uh, my Moroccan band mm -hmm. and we are on we were only women and we used to travel also around uh, uh, so Belgium and mm -hmm. uh, Germany and north of France and uh, and, and uh, Netherlands to mm -hmm. play in on the in the Moroccan wedding so I am I was really exposed uh, to my culture uh, all very like this is really how I learned to dance Nice. How did you become a professional dancer? Like, if, how did it start out? I always go on uh, parties or Moroccan wedding and yeah. I dance. Mm -hmm. So I was already recognized as a very good dancer in my oh, own yeah. community. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when I was a little bit uh, older, when I was 26, I decided to take classes. Mm -hmm. But just for fun. It was like more a hobby. Uh, and uh, then I start to uh, do performance, I will say, out of my community. But I was already doing some performance since I'm very little uh, at school or uh, yeah. I was engaged in some uh, things I go perform. But then when I arrive in Boston, mm -hmm. um, I start to look for a, a new teacher because I had to move. Uh, mm -hmm here and find that, uh, a new teacher because I had to, uh, I had a very good teacher in Bel back to Belgium, Her, his name was Sir Kantuta, he was a male Turkish uh, belly dancer and uh, arriving here I I looked for a uh, so teacher, I found Shadia, that she's an amazing teacher here in the area and then uh, she directly told me, oh Sumaya, what you need is just to perform. Your s the stage will be the best for uh, teacher for you. She always said that to wow. me. She was actually 
uh, very supporting and she's still very supporting with my dance. So I will say that she's one of the person that she really pushed me. Mm -hmm. And then I can mention a lot of other per people that really push me to dance because there is not enough native uh, Arabic women in the dance scene. Mm -hmm. It's very deep, this, those kind of question to me because mm -hmm. it's a huge step for an Arabic woman uh, uh, coming from the culture to decide to take that path. Uh, we, uh, we take a risk because uh, it's not really accepted to be a dancer paying mm -hmm. for dance and uh, we have to go against a lot of taboo uh, so uh, in Boston uh, I uh, I met also I was in a troupe when I came I was in snake dance theater for one year mm -hmm. and then I, I quit uh, the troupe and I decided to to keep dancing and uh, the thing is I was more um, is when I went to party or I just danced socially uh, I had a lot of people asking me if I was a professional dancer and I, di I said no because it wasn't true and uh, I think it was uh, steps. Today I can say I'm a professional dancer because mm. um, it came naturally mm. but I didn't feel the vibe that I was a professional before. I see. It's but really yeah. something that is b it was built with time, mm. and even in my yeah. mind, because it's a for me it's a huge responsibility to be a professional dancer. I had to make very sure that what I publish is respecting my c roots and my culture and my family, and it's very classy. One of the main reasons that made me think take that path of being an artist, because first of all. Uh, I think it's very important to be able to speak for ourselves. Mm -hmm. I come from a culture where we were discriminated and uh, I think my culture is very beautiful and uh, I love it so much and I want to share it with people mm -hmm. and show the beauty of it. Second, I think it's very important uh, to be bridge. I am able to speak uh, different languages. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks God, I have that. G I have that chance to study them and being in another country, uh, growing up with a culture and being in another culture all my life. So that's make myself feeling as a bridge to translate. And beside that, I have to say that my I have uh, I'm holding a master in geography. I never mention it. Mm -hmm. I think I should be also proud of it because the geography is my approach. Of, of the dance. I use a lot yeah. of my geographing uh, tools to approach the dance. Yeah, it's very good and um, the, the, the audience is um, learning something here. <laughs> yeah, so Maya, that's very interesting. Uh, thanks for sharing that. Yeah, it's yeah, thank you for listening. Explain to us what you call this next dance you're going to do. So the next dance that I'm going to do, it will be a Moroccan dance uh -huh. first because uh, I love my, I would like to share. Oh, that yeah. my love and my passion for Moroccan oh, yeah. dance and music. I'm and glad you like that. <laughs> and the music that I have uh, chosen is uh, uh, live music played by Orchestre Labi. I found that music on YouTube and I fell uh -huh. in love. And it's a music that has two styles, which that we call in north of Morocco, in, we call it Daka uh, mm Khamsawhamsin. -hmm. It means uh, the tap 55. Okay. And what uh, and what they call in uh, and it's played uh, what they call in South they call it um, differently. We, I have to remember the name. Uh, mm. So the style that I'm gonna perform will be a little bit st a flavor of Jabli. Jabli means uh, from the mountain, and I I am Jablia uh -huh. uh, back to Morocco, mm -hmm. and uh, and then I will go through a shabby, but my style of shabby. A shabby more uh, from mm -hmm. north shabby means popular dance uh -huh. from north of Morocco. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the style that I would like to share with you. Okay. Let's, Let's enjoy, enjoy the, the video. video.
style show is your show. If you want to be next with your talent and style show like me today, you should contact him right here. Well, we had just saw Samaya's dance. Wow, that was, <laughs> that was so that was something to see. So heated. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> right, tell us about the moves. There's so many. Your hair. Your, well, everything. Right. So the song that I pick up, it's a, a song from Haja Hamdawiya. She's a Sheikha in Morocco. Yeah. And a singer. Um, uh, she used to be a Sheikha. She's a singer and uh, playing music. Okay. And uh, I love this song. Uh -huh. And uh, the style that I put uh, in my dance is my style. But I add flavor of uh, Sheikha style. Uh -huh. Sheikha are the dancer of Morocco, the woman dancer. Ah, and yeah. also, I give a little bit flavor of shabby of sound, okay. of sound like from more Kaza yeah. and um, style. Dakhilia we call it. So I try to get that little flavor. Okay. Uh, still, but I do my style. And so my move were focused a lot of hips moves. Yeah. And uh, the hair was more because I get Ooh. crazy. Oh, I, I, I like that part. Of yeah, yeah, you like it's very wild. Crazy. Yeah, it adds a lot to it. Yeah. Uh, and then um, full energy there. Yeah, and the hand gesture were a little bit more fun, or uh, but I I try to like uh, make it still very uh, classy and uh, mm -hmm. uh, approachable for people. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah. but uh, I love this music and I love this. Ah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 Sal Show is your show. If you would like to be on Sal Show with your talent, contact Sal at the address you see in front of the screen. Thank you. Samaya, what's it like being an Arabic woman dancing professionally? Interesting question. Okay. And very personal, but uh, it's uh, a huge responsibility mm -hmm. because we are representing uh, our culture, but also because uh, we are uh, Women, uh, nobody wants to have a dancer at home, in f or have a family, so a member of family being a dancer. I see. It's not something, and more in Mar like I will talk for Moroccan uh, culture. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's it's kind of difficult, uh, but I have a lot of support of my f brother and sister, and um, I have also a lot of people uh, contacting me from Morocco or women or men mm -hmm. even telling me that uh, they love my artistry mm -hmm. um, uh, but it's a huge responsibility and I think twice before I publish or I do something or even I, ta I talk. Samaya, in your opinion, what is the best way to respect Middle Eastern cultures through dancing? To study it, to give recognition to the people and to the yeah. professional dancer too, that they come from the culture. Uh -huh. Even the dance looks different and it's not maybe um, look like what is the ideal in the... I will, ha I will have to use the, the term Western by opposite at Eastern, but maybe I should uh, define this, but because there are usual words and I don't want to make really like qualification or segregation I or whatever, mm -hmm. but I will say that there is other vision in the world and they should be respected too. Uh, the, f the way to see the dance, to put it on stage or the way that is mise en scène or everything, it can be very different in another part of the world. I see. And the way to enjoy the music and the dancing can be very different than only being on the stage alone. Because the dance first, uh, the roots of the dance is you and the people around you. I see. It's a sharing experience. Yeah. So I'm just saying that because it's very important to understand that it's not because there is no trick or or the dance doesn't look like a standard to what we are used to see or watch. Uh, it doesn't mean that the dancer is not professional or is not uh, qualified. It's just different. Yeah. And that's very important. And the education is very important because even myself, I grew up in the root uh, and I, I, uh, I am Moroccan. In my blood, in my feeling, in my heart, when I study, I just take one thing, it's like I am, it's a drop in the ocean. In the ocean. So I will 
suggest to any person, even you don't know how to swim, but not too well. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to feel what it is to be from the other side, uh, you need to imagine or try the experience to put the glass uh, and and the thing for snorkeling to go inside the water and watch the other life, and then you feel how it's like it's like you realize that there is another life and it's totally different and the way to breathe is different yeah so that's the same yeah it's very poetic the way you're describing it dance is a language yes and behind the language there is a culture when you i have the chance to to speak uh, different languages every time i study a language i realize how much uh, is connected to the culture there is even some expression or some things if you like I, I am here in America for only four years but I have some of my friends they come with expression and those expressions are related to the culture American culture so sometimes I don't get it and they have to explain me really the context no feeling no uh -huh. expression mm -hmm. you need to engage all yourself to be a dancer all your body all the body like I've seen the moves and the dancing and all, yeah. so it is all, all body and yeah. expressed. Yeah, it's expressed. Yeah, that's a very good answer. Thank you, Samaya. What advice would you give to dancers that are just starting out? Any, any, any kind of dance. The joy is the most important, and the expression of yourself and your being you. Even you study something, like right now I speak English, but I have my accent. I guess you find that cute. I don't think it's cute, but oh, it's very but, nice. That is nice. But that's what people usually say. Cute. So think say. about that. When you, any kind of dance, I think what makes it very beautiful is when you respect your authenticity too. And joy can be different emotion because there is many color in emotion. Uh, you can have sad. You can be happy. You can be. So a lot of lot of I mean, but everything you it can bring it's bringing something a feeling to people. Yeah, that's very good advice. I think also the performance should not be the goal. The goal should be the joy first. Not perfection or anything. Just not enjoy performance. It. Not being necessarily directly on stage is the experience of dancing. To have the experience is even going out and having fun with your friends. Uh, going to the parties when you can see people dancing then uh trying to 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 study study and getting experience and then the recognition will come after yeah, very good and think also the second thing i will say is think also sometimes more deeper and what is behind the dance i see we are all window windows to the soul as some say windows to the soul and windows to the others what would you like to share about your dancing to the viewing audience? I would like to share uh, the joy <laughs> and the joy. Love uh, yeah. and my passion. And I would like that people feel that and uh, have the love too for it. Love for or it. Or even if they don't love it, they see the beauty on it. Because uh, beauty has many, many different definitions. That sure does. <laughs> That's yep. what I would like to stay see. <laughs> so Samaya, um, learning so much of good stuff here about your dancing and your culture. Uh, something I've been noticing right away, your costume, your dress, your jewelry, it's all so colorful and, and it, it, it has a big part of your dancing style, right? Yes, I love colors. <laughs> That's because we that's come from a culture where there is a lot of color. But first of all, I want to talk about uh, my henna. Henna? Yes. So yeah. uh, this is a, a woman from, uh, from the area. Her name is Maria O'Connor. She's a, a henna t a tattoo designer, a decoration designer. So oh. she has her, her website. You can check her on the uh, on, uh, internet, Maria O'Connor. Mm -hmm. And so she, um, she made my henna and she's very wonderful and professional. She studied uh, the for many many years, and this style is Indian style, uh -huh. and this style is Moroccan Amazigh style. Oh, I so see. what we call Berber, but it's Amazigh. 
henna, and one's called henna, and it's it's henna both, henna, but both. both that's a style. But yeah. there are different styles because it's something also in common in uh, North Africa and Middle East is we use henna. I, okay, okay, but every country has its own style and I its own symbol. Symbolic. Yes. Mm, um, yeah, it's all beautiful. The jewelry and the and the. So that would be body art, not necessarily tattoo, right? Is yes, because they 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 don't stay forever. Yeah, and is that done individually, um, line by line? No, she draw like she really take her time to draw everything. Well, it takes a long. Well, that's a, that's, yeah. a, that's really. Um, Wow, that's and a, but a lot of that's that's the henna. Maybe you need a little explanation about what is henna. Sure, I would. Henna is a, a plant uh, that uh, has um, tan. When you put so they work, they mix it. They become yeah. very small, and then they put with water. They prepare it, and then when you put it on your on your uh, on your skin, this is the result. This is the tan of the, so it's just the colorant of the henna that come in my skin. I see. Yeah. Okay. And then that's it stay two weeks two and week? leaves. Yeah. That's good that it's not permanent. It's just no, temporary. it's not permanent. That's great. Uh, so it wouldn't be a tattoo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, body art illustration. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So henna, that's what's called. Yeah. Yes. And and um, yeah, the jewelry. Uh, so that's from my mom. It's uh, very old and it's very hard to find those oh. now. Uh, and it's uh, the, there is two style in Morocco. So this style is I will say in general huh, because it, it's more complex than that. But this is uh, a Mazir style. Uh, so what we call Berber, but we don't use the Berber term okay. because they don't really like it. Amazir means free, free uh, man, homme libre, free man. And this is Arabic style. So you can see that the work is different, but. Mm -hmm. um, but then yes, you can see that there is, what I want to bring here is to explain that it's so rich that mm -hmm. you cannot qualify the dance or the art form in only one thing. Yeah. It's a lot of different things. So you have a lot of jewelry and a lot of dresses? Yes, yeah. this also. Yeah. Yeah. I found that this year in Morocco is handmade and it's in a Mazer style. And of course, I have a room with a lot of clothes and oh, I can imagine and uh, different style of costumes wow. and uh, and uh, even my own clothes, my traditional own clothes. I see. Yes. Yeah. That's a, is uh, some of that silver or is it different metals? Mm. So this is like silver, yes, and this is all gold. Hmm. Nice. All gold. Yeah. And usually silver. And I want to I want to say something about those. It's a coin. Yes. Ah. But mm. those coins, I went to. I went to Dubai and I passed and people say to me, but this is from my country and they were from Afghanistan. Uh -huh. But I bought that in Morocco. I see. Yeah. Do you know how did they came to Morocco? I will tell you. Really? We, because there is the commerce negotiation mm -hmm. in the desert. Mm -hmm. People went with the caravan and the, and the Bedouin. Yeah. They make exchange. Uh, of things they make truck yeah and this is how they get those coins very colorful very bright and yeah it's, it's, it's part of y your dance it shows colors and everything else and dance is colors colors and style <laughs> okay so Maya so many people would want to know more about you and your dancing and how may they find out like websites etc so I have a website it's a uh, www.sumayamarose.com. Mm -hmm. uh, I have an email address there that they can reach me. Okay. How they can reach? And then I have uh, my Facebook personal page. Mm -hmm. But that's they need to request my friends uh, to become my friends. Semi-private. You, uh, you can find more information there, uh, more private, but uh, my everyday experience uh, performances. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then you have um, also my YouTube channel, Sumayama Rose. Mm -hmm. And uh, there you have uh, some selected dance that I put on public. Okay. Some selected dance that I think uh, they represent really my journey as a dancer. And right. also they can come in my website. There is all where I perform. Mm -hmm. So when I usually where I perform in places, I stay. So they can reach me there too. Yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm sure they'll find you. Yeah. Your performances, your websites. That's great. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that.
Okay, um, we're ready for the next dance. Um, would you like to talk about that one? Okay, so I will uh, dance for you a Rax Sharaki piece. Mm -hmm. Rax Sharaki means Middle Eastern dance. So in that piece, I love the music. Uh, so that's why I choose that one. I don't know if I can call it mise en scène or more tableau because uh, it's a style. And in that music, you have uh, a ballet. It's a yeah. uh, ballet. It's a uh, Egyptian style of uh, of um, an, as an Egyptian style dance. Yeah. And you have also a taksim, what we call a piece of solo instrument. Yeah. Uh, that is oud. Uh, the oud is uh, the um, um, Middle Eastern uh, guitar. Oh, I see. So oud. Uh, and then um, for that for that style, I wear the 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 costume of cabaret style, so the really the two piece costume. Uh, that uh, it's the f according to the the music and the dance. Um, and then um, I I picked that song because uh, I feel the music very much. Uh, also, I have to mention that usually I am an improvised dancer. I don't choreograph. I see. I just dance with my soul and my feeling in the moment. Mm. So all the mu usually all the video that we see of me, it's all always uh, impro. The only one that I have only one dance in uh, in YouTube, my YouTube that is a choreo, but still is a half improvisation. I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so um, we'll we'll watch that next. Okay? Yes. Yes. Let's enjoy that video!
Ah, oh, Sumaya, that was wonderful. Thank you. All those um, spins and moves, it was great. Thank you. So this dance was a little bit different than the first one. Yeah. This is more oriental, what you call oriental. Uh -huh. And again, it's my style and my interpretation. Uh, I like to put some Moroccan flavor on it. Yeah. And the song is Sitel Hamsen by Samara. Uh -huh. um, uh, the version of Samara. And uh, it's the song with who I grew up, so there is a little bit of mission apart on it. Because uh -huh. I used to dance to that song very little on a wedding from my family, my uh -huh. friends. Uh -huh. So I always dance to that song. And I loved it. Ah. And so I did my little entrance with uh, my mm. cape to make it a little bit mysterious it because was. usually you leave the suspense. It was mysterious. Yeah. 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 The way your moves and um, I, I was noticing your outfit. It's sparkly. It's yeah. nice. Thanks. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it, it's it reminds me of a, it sort of reminds me of a mermaid. Oh. Like uh, in the ocean. Yeah. Oh, that's true. A gold mermaid. Then. Yeah, yeah, that's a compliment. Oh, thank it, you. It has that. Yeah. Thank you very oh, much. So you, you used every every move yeah. with your body and your hair. Yeah, I again. try. I try. Yeah, <laughs> you do great. Yeah. Thanks very much. Yeah. So thank you for having me. Yeah. So um, around the Boston area, um, you, you probably perform many places. And um, you would like to talk a little bit about the places you've been and the ones you favor and stuff like that. Yeah. OK. So. In general, I perform, uh, since I came actually, I perform at the Middle East restaurant in Cambridge every uh, once a month on Sunday. Uh, I've been there, yeah. This is one of my favorite places to perform because I feel very free and it's also where I met all my friends. I see. Uh, the second place I perform, uh, I used to perform a lot at the Karen restaurant before they closed. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was also a very big uh, turnout in my career as a dancer professionally and then I perform in private and I perform at Biblos restaurants also twice a month I see. Mm -hmm. uh, and Sahara nightclub in Metwin mm -hmm. uh, that's my regular performance then a lot of private performances uh, where I met Sal actually oh, Sal uh, Sal. yeah mm, <laughs> and then, uh, this is how I get invited to that um, um, uh, event here yeah the event yeah, yeah. yeah. that's good um, you go back far, it's, uh, back, uh, far back uh, yeah with the that's Arab um, Arab uh, Association American Women Association yeah very familiar with that yeah, yeah. Mm. so I was invited by Suad that she know me since I came actually and she really asked me to perform their uh, folklore. So I did a full set of for Moroccan folklore. It was my first time doing that, actually, a full set by my own. Usually, I always put in my uh, my set, because a, a routine in a dance in our dance form is 20 minutes, usually. And we there is like a different uh, style that we have to to put, but it's like building energy. Mm -hmm. And always we put one of the folklore in the middle of the routine. And I love to put Moroccan style. Definitely. Because I love to make in my all Raksharki uh, performances, Oriental, mm -hmm. I like to put one of Moroccan. So that that's uh, what I do I'm usually. But uh, now you were asking about something? OK, Sumaya, with that said, Tell us about your next dance. Can't wait. So another dance I would like to share is a dance that um, I was inspired by a video that I saw on YouTube from uh, Haifa Wahab, Waldi uh, Yahli Wada Wahishni. She had a full stage, uh, uh, it's, it's a song where she had a full stage uh, uh, performance with it. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I was inspired by that dance, and so I would like to share that. It's a dance with a cane. Oh, um, I see. Because this dance is a pop song, Lebanese style dance, but there is two flavors in that song that I really love, like a flavor of uh, Saidi Debki mm -hmm. uh, style, that there are two styles, one from Egypt and the other one from uh, Lebanese and mm -hmm. Middle Eastern country. And there is a little flavor of ballady, accordion uh, mm -hmm. music. So I picked that song because I really love it so much. I feel connected to it, and I I made up my own dance with that. Oh great! Yeah. Oh, I look forward to that. Yeah. So that, that video. video. Okay. Next up, we we have one more time. We have Samaya. Let me start again. Samaya. It's uh, easy. I I forget my own name sometimes. Oh my God. Samaya. So Sumaya. 
so <sighs> Maya. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. Hold, get out. I have to dance now. Oh, please. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're back. 
<laughs> Samaya, oh, I'm all out of breath. <laughs> Just watching you with all that energy and moves. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it's like it goes around and around and around. <laughs> <laughs> round, round, round. <laughs> yeah. It was wonderful. I loved it. Thank you very much. And thank you for dancing. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that was a shabby song uh, from Egypt. How do you pronounce that word again? Shabby? Shabby. Shabby. Yeah. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get the pronunciations right someday. Yeah, you will. Really uh, American yeah. accent's a little different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, so and I enjoyed a lot dancing yeah. to that song. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So thank you for having me. Yeah, it's yeah. been wonderful, and I, I enjoyed every every minute of it. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you. Thanks, well, Sal. It's a big, yeah, it's, a, it's a big um, education to us, and yeah, yeah, been yeah, television debut. <laughs> and I also want to say that I improvise. Improvise. I a always improvise my dance, so. You, it depends on the mood. Sometimes it comes out very good, and sometimes yeah. it comes out oh weird. Hey, so Samaya, since you're going to continue these shows, tell us about the troupe that you're going to come up in your future shows. So next month, I would like to come here with uh, my Moroccan troupe of Boston. I we see. don't have still a name because I need to feel the name coming. We, we Take your sing. time, yeah. And uh, I would like to come also with my dear friends and colleagues and uh, Bouchema, a very talented uh, musician, uh, Bouchem mm -hmm. Uh And we'd like just to uh, introduce you our future show that it's coming all about Moroccan uh, dance and culture mm. that we did together. It's my collaborator, uh, Bouja Maraski, with who we create that show. And uh, it's June 23rd coming, and we would like to give you a little, a little, just before. Preview? Yes. Well. Then you can. Yeah, well, be more excited to come. Well, looking at your you, uh, you great dancing style, I already have an um, insight of what's to come. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. yeah. So, Maya, the time has come. The show has to end. So, thank you for watching. Today, you have watched a different segment of Sal's show. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.